welcome to another video my name is infinity and today I am here to show you how I like to weave in my ends after I completed a knitting project it's super easy and it's also invisible so without further ado I'm gonna jump right into this tutorial here I have a swatch of one by one ribbing for um, an example you can also do this on garter stitch which I happen to have here at the top of my pattern so I'll show you guys that as well alright so I've flipped my work over to the back side of it like I said these first couple rows, um, I worked up a stockinette pattern, so it looks like garter stitch on the back. And I'm just going to take this end that I have here, and I am going to go ahead from the top of this horizontal bar on the back of my work. I'm going to insert my needle like that, and I am going to move my needle in a clockwise rotation and scoop up that next horizontal bar on the row and I'm going to do that again for the next stitch and again for the next stitch and you can do that for as long as your darning needle will allow today I have a really short one so I'm just going to do those four stitches and pull my strand through like that and that weaves in my end here on the back and if I flip this over you can't see it at all super simple so now I'm gonna go down a row and normally if I went down a row I would go back in the other direction that I came from but for today's tutorial I'm just gonna go across here this swatch doesn't matter too much I'm going to go down to the next row, find a horizontal bar that I want to work into, insert my needle from the top, I'm going to rotate it, scoop up that next vertical bar, I'm going to do it again, and I'm going to do it one more time. Oops. Right there and I'm going to pull my yarn through. Now that would be how you would do that on a garter stitch pattern and like I said on the right side of your work you can't see the strand at all which is perfect. Alright now I'm going to show you guys how to do this on a knit stitch or you know your little v-shaped stitches on your stockinette rows. So similar concept I am going to take my needle and I'm going to find that very first V I'm going to insert my needle and I'm going to rotate my wrist there scoop up that next leg of that next V below the one I just worked into and I'm gonna do it again for that next leg and I'm gonna do it again and this gets really rhythmic after a while you end up scooping up a bunch of stitches actually before you get to the point where you're ready to pull it through but I've gone down about four rows now I'm gonna pull it through and that is what it looks like on the wrong side of the work and if we flip it over here this line you can't even see where you've woven in that string so this is super easy like I said invisible it's a handy way to weave in your ends instead of you know struggling <laughs> I hope today's video was helpful for you guys if so don't forget to leave it a thumbs up